So I've been right up the Chels, up the Minerals FC. Pick up every single one of you live and locked in. Hope everyone's doing well here in life. First and foremost, I want you to smash the pieces out of life, mate. If you haven't smashed it, you smash it right now. You understand me? Yeah? While you've got all these other platforms, all these little random like minions that claim that they're independent, they speak the truth, yeah? These lot are selling themselves out amongst each other like they're in pizza game and Epstein FC. You understand me? Yeah? All for subs and clicks. What are we doing here? We're just going to land it, and say it as it is, and we've got the Chelsea, the Arsenal preview, and this is how we're going to land it. It's very, very simple, and this is the only way to say it, is that there is no excuses not to beat Lego in and, and them goons. We have to absolutely smash them tomorrow. They are in a capitulation. We could go second at this rate, and we could be what you call progression. This is what everyone's PR is, progression. I can't deal with progression. It's not about process. Arsenal have been in a process. This is their fifth year of their process. Their own supporters are coming out saying, what is, oh, I, I didn't believe in it at first, now I believe in it, and we're now into the fifth season and it's a make or break and it's all going to break, it's all going to fall down Kanye West, Mask on and Alex Jones, you understand me? They're, they've been trusting a process that hasn't won them anything or any trophies and yet they've spent 780 million Lego it's spent, they haven't got experience, they don't have any generals, they haven't won anything and our clown owners are going there, propaganda in called up the Matt Laws and the Fabrizio Marlos and the Paulston, the same what? We're looking at Arsenal all or nothing on Amazon and they, we have to be patient, we're on the right course and it's exactly as you drew it up guys. And all of our own supporters are now the new generation of Arsenal supporters trusting the process when we went under Don Roman we had what? Trust winning trophy. This is where we are now. And we spent 1.5 billion, we're in our third phase now, and you are all lapping it up. While Arsenal in the fifth phase absolutely capitulating, embarrassing themselves and reincarnating Banbury FC. We are not Banbury FC, we're Chelsea Football Club. Right now we're sweating, absolutely sweating on Cole Palmer. Is he fit or is he not? The brand of those have even come out and said if he's fit or not, if it's what, what the scan says, we haven't heard anything. And we're waiting with, with the gaffer coming out and Percy saying, oh, he might, you know, we're going to assess him tomorrow in training. I mean, he's either he's fit enough to train or not train. While we've got Declan Rice with a broken toe, yeah, at the moment, it's soggy rice. We don't know whether he's, he, he's, he's saying he's going to take injections to play, right? Which is what we had with John Terry, captain leader legend mentality, taking injections to play while all the rest of the players are off on sick notes, wrapped in cotton wool with the PR they're coming back, they never come back. And while that's happening, what do we get after my stream where I called this out about Beck and Rice and mentality? Now we've got Matt Law in the popular clown lake pushing out. Oh, we'll see, he's got the minerals, yeah? Now Matt Law wants to call out and say he's a piece if someone's got the minerals or not. Don't tell me that we are not influential on this channel. Don't tell me yet, yeah, like all these other platforms are broadcasting that they're all independent and they speak the truth, yet they're all in each other, grasping each other out, yeah? Literally all for clicks, subbing, getting subs from each other, working with each other. You know what I'm saying? It is literally Epstein FC culture, yeah? Pizza gate mentality. They're all for gazes, they're all doing it for the pound note and for the clicks. They're not influential, and if they spoke the truth, they would get shadow banned like Joe Rogan and myself, and they would get assassinated like Donald Trump, who's now landed their minerals, wiping out the deep state. Understand me, yeah? He's exposing all the fraudulent brown envelopes with their false narratives and these clips saying that. Well, when you say it as it is, you get exposed, yeah? You get exposed. They attack you. Because you expose the ones that are false. The ones that speak the truth, that be negative, and cancel culture, and the ones that are lying to your faces, spreading false narratives, they're deemed as what? Truth tellers. What a load of bangers and mash waffle, they're a long way from Starbucks and now that's a shit camera, let's have it quiet.
And that's where we are right now, yeah? So fuck all you brown envelopes, fuck all you fraudulent platforms, yeah? You don't know what you're talking about. The bottom line is, Arsenal supporters can't even trust the damn process right now, yeah? And they won't continue to trust this process if Lego doesn't win nothing. And that's phase five. So what are we doing as Chelsea supporters, sitting there, holding our nutsacks, going, oh look, we're really, we're Cole Palmer FC. And if Cole Palmer doesn't play tomorrow, who's gonna land the minerals? Who's gonna beat this Arsenal team that are desperate to win and get, a, get a three points under their belt? And they've had a very good head-to-head -head at Chelsea. A very good head-to-head. -head. We've drawn and we've lost twice in the last three games. So let's see what happens tomorrow. But I'll tell you, we have to win. It's another must win, like it was against Manchester United, and we bottled that coming from 1 0 behind. We should be steamrolling the team that's in the gutter. Are Arsenal as much in the gutter as, as, as Man United? No. So, what are we all thinking? Yeah, let's steamroll Arsenal. Well, I expect it then, because we're so called in full. And the trust of process is living lavish, bro. Yeah? We ain't no trust the process club. And until people realise that, let's see. Hopefully, we get the three points. If we don't, it's a, it's a disgrace. If you're not, if you can't beat Arsenal now, when are you going to beat Arsenal? How are you going to beat Arsenal? Yeah. London is blue. We see things they'll never see. They can't even win the Champions League. They haven't even won the Premier League. They're two their most successful season bottling to Pep Guardiola, and they're the closest to Pep Guardiola. And, and Man City are in the gutter right now. Yeah. Put on their standards and their levels, and Arsenal are nowhere near them. So what chance have we got? And what is all this look at Arsenal? Why are we looking at Arsenal? Arsenal look at us, because we're the daddy of London. This is where people need to understand, yeah, that they've spent 780 million. We've spent 1.5 billion less time. And we haven't done nothing. We can't even get the Champions League. And this is the mentality of Arsenal. Arsenal's mentality is, with their ownership, is to what? Make sure they get top four and try and compete to keep the sports up. No, no, no. This is what this ownership want. They want top four. And our, our managers have got pressure to get top four. And he's come out publicly saying that. Top four, you can get top four. But are you going to win top four? Are you actually going to be successful in getting that top four space to play the Champions League? The reality is you're not. If Arsenal ain't going to do it, and they can't even do it with the best teams that they had, with Orleans and Bandham, so they right. They're so called goats and statues outside their shitty little ground. And stand me. Well, this is where we are at Chelsea, so stop lapping it up, and let's keep the pressure, because pressure makes diamonds, and we have to beat those Jews. We've got no other option, but we have to beat them. Another must win game to sacrifice the Carabao Cup to play uh, uh, a team in the Conference League to beat them 8 0, not even break the record by double digits. Yeah? It's embarrassing. So we need to land the minerals tomorrow, and we are sweating. It's cold sweats to see if Cole Palmer's going to play, because if he doesn't, who are we relying upon? And just to add, because I, I didn't land it, is you've got Matt Lowell, Propaganda, and Casado, when, when I was talking about Beckham Rice mentality, now it's all Casado mentality. The PR is mad, bro. The PR is, 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 is everything that these clowns use to manipulate support, which they're all these platforms, all these copy paste merchants are promoting trust of failure. Because that's all it is a process that Arsenal don't even know what is the process. And the Chelsea don't even know what the process is. So let's go and get the three points and let's talk tomorrow. Big up to everyone in this. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, put all your comments down below. And salute to all my Minerals FC Ultras, Chelsea Old, where we simply do never see. No surrender mentality. Let's go.